Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys five different food pranks that you guys can pull on your family and friends over the holidays. Let's get started. Alright, so for this prank, we're going to make some Christmas Jello shooters with a nice little surprise. A little bit of hot sauce or wasabi, depending on the color of Jello that we use. We're going to use a little bit of lime, so that's going to be green, and we're going to use a little bit of raspberry, so that's going to be a little red color. We also got ourselves some of these ice cube trays that we're going to use for Jello. So we got some Christmas trees here, uh, so we're going to put some green into there, and we got some Santas and some snowmen and things like that. So everything's going to look innocent and delicious until it hits their lips. So much like regular Jello, we're gonna take it out of the pack. Just read the instructions on the Jello pack itself right here. So we need one cup of hot water, boiling water, and then we're also gonna need one cup of cold water as well. We're gonna start off with one cup of hot water, and that's gonna be used to mix everything together. So we're gonna take a spoon and just how you would normal Jello. But what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna insert the wasabi right away into this mixture because we want it to be hot. We don't want to put the cold water in. You want to put the um, put it in there while it's still hot so it melts in with everything and then you can't see the actual wasabi inside. We gotta make sure that it's concealed and nobody can tell that we've been messing with it. You can tell it's almost mixed together. <laughs> we could smell that. All right, now that our mixture is completed, and everything looks delicious and innocent and green. We're gonna go ahead and make our Christmas tree jello shooters. Uh, we're just gonna pour it out. We actually put a little bit of cookie spray in there just to make everything come out much more smoothly. Gotta make sure that you're careful not to make any spills, otherwise your fiance will kill you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge and we're gonna let it settle and turn into Jell-O. Now that the Christmas trees are out of the way, it's time to make some Santas. So we're gonna make some red Jell-O shooters. Now, you may not have wasabi in your house, but you more than likely have a little bit of hot sauce. We're gonna put a raspberry Jell-O in there. We have a cup of water right in here. Pour that in there. We're gonna mix that up nicely like we always do with Jello. And then we're gonna go ahead, take our hot sauce. This one has ghost peppers inside, so that's gonna be extra delicious. And we're gonna mix that up. And because the raspberry already is so damn dark, it changed colors right away and you can't even tell that there's hot sauce inside. All right, so now that these are done, we're gonna put them in the fridge. We're gonna see what they're like in a couple hours. Hey Mel, you've been working really hard. I think it's time to party. A little bit of a jello shooter. Aw, thank you. Don't they look so cute? They're so cute. They're a little Christmas tree. Yeah, try it. <laughs> you like it? I can't breathe. You like it? So for this next prank, we're gonna make some fresh baked cookies and instead of delicious frosting, we're gonna use some delicious toothpaste. Let's get this started. You wanna make sure that you put enough cooking spray on the pan because you don't want these cookies getting all stuck to the pan. After all, everything has to look delicious like you didn't mess with anything. That is the key to any food pranks. You want to make sure that the person that is trying whatever it is that they're trying has no idea that you just messed with everything. All right, now for the finishing touch for these cookies. They have all cooled off. They look amazing, but they need a little bit of icing. And for icing, we're gonna use some toothpaste. But this opening is way too big. We're not gonna be able to do really cool designs. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of this toothpaste into a Ziploc bag, just like so. Squeeze it out a little bit. That should be enough for our design right here. Okay, next what you wanna do is take a little bit of scissors and make a very small hole at the end of the Ziploc bag. Not too big because we wanna make sure that we can keep making our designs here. So we're gonna start off with like a snowman, make, you know, a little bit of buttons right here, and right here, 
right here. And then we're gonna give him a little bit of eyes. If you're not very good with icing in general or not too creative, not to worry, you're in the same boat as me. All you can do, you can just pour a bunch on here and what we can do is we can grab ourselves a knife and then we're gonna go ahead and just pour that icing, icing as we like to call it, all over right here and we got ourselves a nice green Christmas tree. Now that we have these cookies, you can either let them dry out like this or if you're in a very big hurry, we can also put them into the freezer. So we're gonna do that just very quickly to get them going. So now if you're presented these amazing, beautiful cookies, you're not gonna think twice. You're gonna be like, damn, that looks so damn good. Oh, oh, God, oh, that was I just gave more more minty, ah! Oh. That's really not good. Yeah, I know. I haven't done like any of my shopping yet. I'm freaking out, but... Hey, Mel, I try some cookies. Oh! Well, don't mind if I do. Hold on one second. Oh! I got COVID back! <laughs> ah! What is that? What is that? Toothpaste! <laughs> They're gross! Alright, so for this next prank, we're gonna grab some donut holes and make them a little bit Christmassy with a little bit of garlic. So what you wanna do is get yourself a couple of fresh garlic cloves and you're gonna cut them into about a uh, about quarter, maybe even a sixth of the size. Um, you wanna make sure that you get a small enough piece that you can fit into these holes pretty smoothly. I'll show you, just a second. All right, so what we're gonna do is grab ourselves a donut hole and we gotta create a little bit of a slit on both sides of the donut hole. And what we're gonna do is take a piece of garlic and we're gonna go ahead and just jam it inside, just like so, just like so. Now, the problem here is that you can, you can probably see that it's been tampered with. So we need to cover up our tracks. How do we do that? Simple, some powdered sugar. We're gonna go ahead and just put some powdered sugar over top, just like so. Then we're gonna take our donut, and gonna put it right here. All right, so we're gonna make a bunch more of these, just cover them in powdered sugar as it hides all the garlic that is inside. We're gonna go ahead and make a bunch more of these and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so now it's time for the plating. What I have here is a nice plate. I took some icing right here and I put it on the edges of the plate. We grab ourselves a little bit of the Christmas sprinkles and we're just gonna put them right there. Don't be afraid of putting them all over the plate as well. You know, we wanna make this as Christmassy as we possibly can. Just like so, then we're gonna take our donut holes, our garlic donut holes, and we're gonna put them all right there, and right there. And then when you're done, you know, you present it to somebody, and they're like, wow, those look so good. And you grab one, you take a big bite, you go, oh, 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 it's not even worth it. And then buy it and some garlic. Ah, uh, now I'm worse. And so when you're not expecting garlic, that is the worst flavor coming to your mouth. Hey Mel, we made some powdered donuts. You want to try what we made for Christmas? Woo! Yeah, I'll take one. Hmm. What? <laughs> what is in that? What is in that? <laughs> What is in that? <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so for this next prank, we're gonna do a little bit of a spin on the traditional hot apple cider. You know you get a nice steaming hot mug, you know you have the cinnamon stick inside and everything like that, and you just sit right here in the cold, you you sip away. Well we're gonna change that. We got some cider vinegar right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is heat up a little bit of this. We're gonna heat it up a little bit, and then we're gonna put a little bit of cinnamon inside. So you're not gonna be able to really smell the vinegar until you taste it. All right guys, so our apple cider is totally ready, and I got some cinnamon sticks here. These smell awesome. 
So we're gonna put in a couple of these into the actual apple cider. We're gonna pour that all out in there. Look at that piping hot apple cider. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh wow, look at that, look at that. They're gonna be in there, right there. You're, you're gonna see some cinnamon and everything like that floating. And you're gonna be like, wow, that, that just looks fantastic. Mmm, mmm, smell that cinnamon and everything like that, and then you have a sip. Oh! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Where are the fries? <laughs> oh man, that just, oh! That is awful! Wow! So for this next delicious prank, we're gonna grab ourselves some festive eggnog and we're gonna replace the shampoo in this bottle with the eggnog. So you can either empty out a brand new bottle or if you have an old bottle lying around or almost empty bottle, grab that, open it up, grab yourself some eggnog. All right, so pour that eggnog right in there all the way to the top. Gotta make sure it looks like it's a fresh bottle and it's full and, and ready to go. All right, so once we're done that, we're just gonna randomly place this into the shower where the shampoo normally would be, and we're gonna wait for a certain somebody to wash their hair. Time to shampoo! Peter, what the fuck? Disgusting! All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed those pranks. Use them and pull them on your friends and family. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the holidays and happy new year to you all. We'll catch you guys later. As always my friends, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course get laid. Hey guys, stay hungry, it's available on Amazon.